been too good to us. Hallelujah. And then he gives us all this time throughout the course of the week. How can we not set aside some time for him? Amen? Because he's just that good. And he's worthy. And he deserves it. Amen? Thank you, Lord Jesus. And Father God, we come before your presence today, Father. Bringing that sacrifice of praise, oh God. Lifting up holy hands before you, Lord God, and just saying, thank you, Father. Lord, we want to let you know how much we love you today, Lord God. How much, Lord God, that we respect you today, Father. We honor your presence, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, as we open up your word, Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit will speak to us in the name of Jesus. Send fresh fire from heaven, O oh God. Send a fresh anointed Father. Burn up the works of our flesh, O oh God. We lift up those that are hurting today, Father. We lift up those that are grieving today, Lord God. Because we know that you're a healer. We know that you're a restorer. We know that you're a deliverer, Father. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord God, whatever you allow us to come to our door, Lord God, we will not let it stop us from praising Hallelujah. you, Father. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We will bless your name at all times, Lord God. We will keep your praises continually in our mouth, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. And God, we give you the praise today, Father. Search our hearts today, Lord God. Anything that's not like you, Father, we ask that you remove it in the name of Jesus. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. In the name of Jesus. And Father God, we want to be bold soldiers for you, Lord God. Declaring and decreeing your word, Lord. Wherever we go, Father, in the name of Jesus, let us not miss an opportunity of ministry, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. We thank you right now, Father. We lift up Sister Carmen and her sister, Lord God, that you will strengthen Sister Carmen as she helps her sister, Lord, that you will heal her body, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, we lift up Deacon Nathan and the loss of his brother, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will cover this family, Father. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. And we praise you, Father. And we give you all the glory, the honor, and all the adoration that you are deserving of, oh God. That you're worthy of, Father. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. And we praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You may be seated at the presence of the Lord today. Amen. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. So every week, I lay before the Lord, and it's like, okay, God, what is it that you would like to say to us, that you want us to hear? Amen. Amen. And I was talking to a friend this morning, and they shared with me, you know, that we have to find peace oh. and then listen. Amen. And sometimes in prepping and trying to hear from God, I'm running to and fro. My mind is all over the place. And I just, and when that word was spoken to me, it's like, God, I thank you. Wow. To find peace and then listen. Amen. Amen. And I was like, what a profound truth wow. that was wow. just spoken to me. Amen. Amen. And I mean, and I walked that thing out this morning because I was like, I mean, seriously, I got up this morning, I was like, okay, Lord, I don't have nothing. Okay, God, it's Sunday morning, 7 o'clock. What are we going to do? You know, going back and forth. But when I quieted my soul, All right. then I could hear from God. Because so often we get in the way. Yes. We get in the way of what God is trying to do in our life. Amen? Yes. So it's very simple this morning. So we're going to be coming from Philippians chapter 4. Very popular, if you want to use lack of a better word, scripture. We're going to be reading Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. And as, you know, during this fast, isn't it a blessing? Yes. Not saying that it's easy. Right. But it's been a blessing. This first, first week has been a blessing. And the things that God has just revealed to me about myself. Amen. Amen? Amen. And it's like, God, I thank you. All right. I thank you, Lord God, for just ministering to me. 
So the word of God says, and I'm reading from the modern English version, it says, be anxious for nothing. Mm -hmm. Be anxious for nothing. Mm -hmm. He says, but in everything, mm -hmm. by prayer and supplication, with gratitude, uh -huh. make your request known to God. Mm -hmm. So I want you to ask yourself, what is causing you to be anxious today? Or what's causing you to be anxious in the midnight hour? When everybody else is sleeping and you wake up and your mind is going and you're thinking about this situation or that situation or this person or that person, this son, this daughter, this grandchild, what's going on? And the Lord is saying, bring it to me. So even while we're doing this fast and we look at this scripture, be specific and tell God what it is that's causing you to be anxious. Amen. Is it the world conditions? Is it the state of the economy? Is it the gas prices? Is it the behavior of your children? Whatever the case may be, the Lord is saying, don't be anxious for anything. He says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication. So then I was like, Lord, you know, and when you look at the scripture, God is being specific. He says, by prayer and supplication. And we know that prayer is how we talk to God. Amen. Amen. Amen? It's how we talk to God. But a prayer could be, Lord, I thank you for waking me up this morning. I thank you for life, health, and strength, and bless my day, and you've gone on about your business that you just prayed. But the Bible says those things that you call, are anxious about, you've got to go a little deeper. Mm. It's not a surface thing. Amen. You've got to tell the Lord, this is what's causing me anxiety. So the Lord is saying, by prayer and supplication, and supplication is the action of asking for something earnestly or humbly. Yeah, yeah. So those things that get, you know, the things that we're praying for, the addictions that we're praying to be broken in our families, the strongholds that we're praying to be broken up. I can't just say, Lord, break these strongholds and go on about my business i got to let the Lord know how serious I am yes, yes. about this thing. God, I lift up this person or that person by name. Father God, I want the strongholds to be broken in their life. I want these addictions to be dried up. I want the spirit of fear to be removed Amen. from this person's life. Amen. I've got to petition God. And then he says that you do it with the spirit of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. That's right. That you do it with the spirit of thanksgiving. God, I lift up this person and I thank you for what you're doing in their life. I thank you for the healing. I thank you for restoring them. I thank you for the deliverance. Amen. We do with the spirit of thanksgiving. He says to make your request known to God. Because we put our petitions before the Lord and we lift up those supplications before him. We're making those requests up. But then we're saying, God, I thank you because it's already done. Amen. 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 It's already done. And then it says, verse 7 says, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will protect your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Yes. So we lifted up those things that we're anxious about. We've been honest with the Lord because the thing about it is God already knows what's causing you anxiety. Yes. God already knows what's causing, what's causing the sleepless night. God already knows the turbulent thoughts that are going through your head time and time again. Amen? So when it says in the peace of God, my peace is not coming from my prayer being answered. The peace is coming in knowing that God has heard me. Because he says that if I seek him for this, then he's going to give me his peace. Right. So whether I see the answer to the prayer or not, what I'm seeking is the peace of God. Amen. Amen. And he says that when we lift up our prayers and our supplications with gratitude before the Lord, he says that his peace which surpasses all understanding, all understanding. will protect, will keep us yeah. safe, yeah. will keep our hearts and our minds safe through Christ Jesus. Amen. My situation doesn't have to change. But now that I know that I've given over to my Father, uh, and then that he's blessed me with his peace, yes. then regardless of what I see occurring, mm. God is going to keep me safe. Amen. That peace is going to rest on me. Regardless of what the grandchildren say or what they do, Come on now. God, your peace is what's going to keep me. Hallelujah. Because that's what his word says, that his peace which surpasses all understanding. It doesn't even make sense to the natural man. How can you be going through what you're going through with a smile on your face? 
is because I know that I placed this in the hands of my Father. Amen. And he said that once I've done this and that I've praised him through it and praised him through this process, the peace that he blesses me with. Because peace is priceless. And you have to guard it at all costs. And so then we go into verse 8 because then we have to think about it. So Lord, I've lifted up my request before you. I've made my supplications made known to you, Lord. I'm praising you for it, but now I've got to watch what I'm thinking about. Amen. Because in order to guard our peace, we can't be going down that what if. And what if this happens? Or what if this doesn't happen? And how is this going to happen? And how is God going to do this? That's not faith. It says faith is the substance of things hoped for, mm -hmm. the evidence of things not seen. Amen. So my faith says that God is going to make a way out of no way. I don't know how he's going to do it, but I know he's going to do it. Amen. 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 Amen? So the word of God says, and I'm reading this scripture from the New Living Translation. It says, and now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. So after I've lifted my request before the Lord, and that text message comes through that's kind of strange, that's not going to shake my peace. Because I'm going to keep my focus on God. Because I know that my God is able to deliver. My God is able to heal. My God is able to save. He saved me. So no matter what I see occurring in the natural, God, I trust you. I'm going to exercise my faith and I'm going to believe you and trust you, Lord, that you are going to do what only you can do. Amen. But so often we think that, Lord God, because we've lifted these requests, and then instead, instead of us focusing on our praise and being grateful, mm -hmm. and we want to just see the answer, but the Lord says, that's not what you're getting from this. What you're getting from this is my peace. Amen. My peace Amen. to take you through. Right. Amen. My peace. Amen. That's what God wants to give us today. He said, and you would keep your mind stayed on him, he will keep you in perfect peace. Amen. But what if the enemy try to do? The enemy tries to come in and distract us with all kinds of things. Amen. There's so many things. And even as we've gone, as we're on this fast, and the things that I've seen occur this week, is like, Lord, have mercy. Mm. Father, you've got to help me mm. to wow. be able to stand yes. Yes. in the midst of this chaos, mm -hmm. in the midst of the things that the enemy is trying to bring to my door, Father. Just gear me up, Lord God. Amen. But keeping our focus fixed on the Lord. Yes, yes. That God, now this is what I'm thanking God for. So if I'm thanking God for it, I can't be saying what if on the other side. Mm -hmm. So every time that the enemy tries to bring in that doubt and unbelief, I know that my God is able because he says that his peace will keep me yes, safe. Yes, yes. That he will, his peace will keep me safe when we see our children doing crazy things. His peace yes, will keep me safe when yes. we see this economy going from one end to the other. Mm -hmm. And you know, and people are trying to preach everything else, but we're not preaching Jesus. Amen. This is what we need is to preach Jesus. Amen. We raise our children to do what's right. We've been Amen. raised to be respectful. Yes. But what's going to save us is the blood of Jesus. Yes. Acknowledging That's right. that Jesus came, he died, and he rose again. It's not about doing good deeds. Good deeds does not save you. Right now. Jesus is the one that saved us. And we need to Amen. preach Jesus. Amen. And in order to do that, we have to give our concerns over to God because the enemy is trying to get us caught up in what we're going through, the situations that we're facing, the decisions that have to be made. And the Lord is saying, just give it to me. Just give it to him. Why are you carrying this? He says, cast your cares on him because he cares for us. Amen. He says, don't be anxious for anything. Amen. The doctor's report, the bank statement, what the job is saying, don't be anxious for anything. Amen. But by prayer and supplication, Amen. with thanksgiving, let your request be made known Amen. unto God. Amen. And then his peace. Yes, Come on now. His peace. 
will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. So if you're not in peace today, you have to ask yourself, where am I abiding? What am I holding on to? What beliefs am I believing that's not right? Because the word of God is true. The Lord says that his word will not return to him void, but it's going to prosper where he has sent it. So the Lord is saying to us today, bring every care to him. If you need to write it down, then write it down. And lift it up before the Lord. And ask God to break those generational curses. Break those strongholds. Break those addictions because we know that God is able. There's nothing too hard for him. Heal relationships, Lord. Take, take out the heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh, oh God, Amen. that they may be receptive to your word. Amen. This is what we have to do. Amen. In faith, amen, you may stand to your amen. feet. Amen. Be anxious for nothing. Amen. We've got to teach our children yes. not to be anxious for yes. anything, but to amen. take yes. their requests yes. to the Lord yes. in prayer. Yes. And so the Lord is showing us in his word, this is not just a fly-by-night prayer. You've got to dig deep. Yeah. Daniel, when he prayed, he was praying and praying, and the Lord said, I said the answer the first day, but there was a battle going on. Uh, but he kept praying and believing God. Uh, and we don't have to keep telling, asking God the same thing over and over again. Give him your request and start thanking him for it. Thank him, That's right. Start thanking him for it. Thank you, Lord. I don't have to ask him for it every every day, every time I go into prayer. I can lift up my request before the Lord and pour my heart to him. And then when I get up out of my prayer posture, God, I thank you for the answer. Amen. I thank you that you're working it out. I thank you, but first of all, I thank you for your peace Hallelujah. that keeps me safe. Because the peace of God will keep you Amen. when all hell is breaking loose Amen. around you. Amen. The peace of God. Amen. When people don't understand how can you be going through what you're going through and not losing your natural mind, it's the peace of God. The peace of God. And it says that surpasses all understanding. It doesn't make any sense to our natural mind. But God's peace that will hover over us and cocoon us in. And even though we see things, God, I'm not going to meditate on what I see. I'm going to meditate on your word. I'm going to think about those things that are good and right and pure and admirable and holy and righteous in your sight, Father. That's what I'm going to think about. I'm not going to think about the behavior of people and what they're doing and what they're saying, Father. I know that you're able that there is nothing too hard for you. So even as I'm seeing this playing out before me, Father, it's your peace that's going to carry me. That's going to guard my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus. All you need to do is look at the news a little bit and your anxiety level will just fly out of the roof. But we have to remember that God is still on the throne. It says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and all they that dwell therein. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. I don't care. Whatever else they're teaching, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is the way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no other way to the Father but through him. Because if you try to go any other way, you're a thief and a robber. The word is true. And if you meditate on the word day and night, he says, then thou will make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. It's not just about thinking positive. You know, the world tries to spin this. Well, don't just don't think negative, just think positive. No. What does the word say? I know that's right, Pastor. What does the word say? Because the word is telling me, don't be anxious for anything that I see occurring. That my God is able. All I need to do is bring my request to him. And that his peace will keep me safe. So, Father God, in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus, we Hallelujah. thank you for your word today, thank Lord God. Lord. And we pray, Lord God, that seeds was planted today, Hallelujah. Father, that will produce a harvest for you, Lord yes. God. Yes. 
And Father God, as we bring our cares to you, Father, and those things that cause us anxiety, Lord God, as we lift them up before you, Father, as we go deeper into prayer, Lord, yes. then, Lord God, you said that your peace, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. And that's what we speak to today, Father. Not only for ourselves, oh God, but we speak it for our children and our children's yes, children, yes, Father. Yes. For our family members, oh yes, God, in the name yes, of Jesus, yes, that they will come into the yes, knowledge of the yes, truth of who yes, you are, Father. Yes, in the name of yes, Jesus, they will know that Jesus is the answer yes, to every problem. Yes, Jesus is the solution yes, to every situation. Yes, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. In the name of Jesus. Help us to walk in this truth today, Father. Help us to hold on to this truth today, Lord God. Let us not be distracted by the tactics of the enemy, Father, but to keep our focus fixed on you. And Father, we give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus.